Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Late Show. You know my first guest tonight from her six seasons on SNL and playing many memorable characters, including superstar Mary Catherine Gallagher. She now stars on HBO's Divorce. Maybe we should go down to Miami for the long weekend, have a real vacation. I was thinking something bigger. Rome. Paris. <gasps> Paris! Or we could do that meditation safari we've always wanted to do. I'm going to retire. Diane. Say something. Great. Please welcome Molly Shannon. I'm so glad you're here. Thank I have wanted so to talk much. to you for years. I'm such a big fan of yours oh for so gosh. many well, years now. I am a big fan of yours, and I'm so nervous to be here. I don't know why. Why? Why? Uh, you're an old pro. Thank I mean, you. I mean, not old pro. <laughs> you're, you're like a I didn't take it that showbiz way. term. You're, 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 you're hand at this. Thank you. It's funny that when you don't, when you haven't done live television for a while, I still get really nervous. I forget how like your heart pounds, and you forget about that for some reason. Yeah. Well, now mine is. <laughs> I had forgotten about it till you told me just now. Uh, uh, first of all, I just want to say I love uh, I love stupid things for yeah. the sake of them just being as stupid as you can make them. And you and Will Ferrell did something just just wonderfully stupid uh, on on New Year's Day. Tell the good people what you two did. Thank you, Stephen. Well, Will Ferrell and I hosted the Rose Bowl Parade as Cord Hosenback and Tish Cadigan, and we had so much fun Never doing it. It was it was it was it was thrilling. And but and for no other reason, like there's no, it wasn't in support. It wasn't in support of some other thing. You no. guys aren't making a movie with these characters. No, you just, just where yeah. did it come from? It was just for fun, I think. Um, it but you didn't seemed... tell the viewers no. that it was a joke. No, and some of them were not happy. You th is that right? Yes, I well, heard about that. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've seen this, but you got this amazing Amazon reviews because it was it was on Amazon Prime. You got you got Amazon Prime. You could watch this mm -hmm. right here. If you, if you if you look at this, okay, that's how many people liked it. That's how many people hated it, and everybody in between was really confused. I absolutely loved it. Can we, we do we have a clip of this? Oh, show, show the people okay. what we're talking about here. Look who's coming now. Don't Look. go crazy, Corey. I can't help it. It's the mayor of Pasadena, Terry Tornak. Terry Tornak. Terry Tornak. Terry Tornak. Terry Tornak. Mr. Terry Tornak, is it then? <laughs> I'll be having a pint of beer with you in the pub later, Mr. Terry Tornak. <laughs> Terry Tornak! <laughs> I will. And that, for how long? Two hours. Okay. Two they may hours. Have heard that. I just asked her how long she did that. How long did she do that? Two hours. Two Steven. hours of that in yeah. character. In character, it was a little hard. I was like, "Ooh, I hope I don't get in trouble or say something bad." <laughs> can you get in trouble for saying something bad on Amazon? You can do anything there. I don't know. Okay. But, I want to read you one of the okay. reviews. I wish I didn't have to give this any stars. <laughs> The two hosts needed to be placed in a psych ward someplace. <laughs> I was so disappointed in the coverage. One, because of the host, and second, because they didn't show all the floats. <laughs> so anyway, much what? respect for not telling anyone what the hell was going on. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you've, you've, I mean, uh, you've done so many char characters over the year. As I said, Mary Catherine Gallagher, obviously, um, Tara Rialto, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the sweaty balls, mm -hmm. uh, the, the host of the VR. Sally O'Malley, yes. Sally O'Malley. Yes. Now, have you always done characters? Because I have a suspicion that you have. Because have you? We got this. The, yes. That, How old are you? That was when I was like probably like nine or ten, and that's one of my best friends that I grew up with, Anne Ramp. Nine Anne or ten, Pountain. going on forty-five, right here. <laughs> yeah. There you are. <laughs> 
This is you right here. Yeah, we would always do characters growing up, and she was the girl who first told me that she she could picture me in the movies. We saw this Robert Altman movie called Nashville, and she's like, sure. and the, uh, Karen Black had a southern accent, and she was singing, and my friend Ann said, I could picture you being in the movies. We were like Huck oh. Finn and Tom Sawyer. I go, you could? She's like, yeah, I could picture you with a southern accent being in the movies. I was like, really? And we'd have conversations like that. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Yeah. And did you have a sense of like how one would then go be in a movie? No, not at all, but my dad was like, like my mama Gypsy Rose, and mm. he was like, he was like, you go in, when you're out in Hollywood, you go into those talent agents and you just tell them, hey, hold the phone, I got talent. Like he, <laughs> he, uh, he had real like oh old, old timey wonderful. advice. What was your dad's name? His name was Jim Shannon. Jim and he Shannon. was the sweetest, he was a dapper dresser and he's Irish Catholic, he was a recovering alcoholic. Uh -huh. And uh, he, he was just like, he took a real interest in people mm -hmm. and, uh, he was just the, the best. I adored him. Now, uh, uh, you know, this kid who, uh, how old were you in your set? I was like 10. About 10, yeah, smoking yeah. a camel straight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so kids who like, you know, actor kids, kids doing characters like this with the cigarettes, might be a little bit of a handful, and your dad was a single dad. Yes. Did you, did you make life hell for him when you were a teenager? He, he did have a hard time. He would worry because he'd have to take us to school and cook and clean the house, and he would get very worried about getting behind in the cleaning. Oh. So he, uh, this is before he got into recovery, he would take uh, speed, went to clean the house. And uh, wait, he used to wait, take... Wait, walk me through this? He so would like, take... On a Thursday night? Thursday night, he would just pop a little Dexamil because he'd be, like, so behind in the cleaning. And it was a combination of an amphetamine and a tranquilizer. It was like a perfect combo. <laughs> and uh, so basically... Yin-yang. <laughs> yin yang yeah, kind of speedy but calm. But so, <laughs> so then he would just clean and clean, and we'd be like, oh, Daddy's cleaning. And then we, he'd still be cleaning. And then my sister Mary and I would go to bed, and then the sun would be rising and she would come in my room and she was like, Daddy's still downstairs cleaning. And then Aww. we went down to the basement and he would be folding laundry with a cigarette in his mouth. I'm like, speed freak, like, mm, like folding laundry. Oh but then the house was sparkling clean and um, he would play Judy Garland music, like, Swanee, how I love you, how I love you. And then that meant While the house cleaned? was clean. No, after it was clean, he played Judy Garland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we would I celebrate. Think Judy, I think Judy Garland had some of your dad's pills too, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Don't I know, think don't so know. Too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. So you grew up in an Irish Catholic home. Very Catholic and Irish like you. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%, yeah. 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 My dad so, was also, my dad was the youngest of 10. Oh, well, youngest of 11. Yeah. It's great to be the baby of the big, of the big family. Yeah. So how Catholic are we talking here? Are we talking like daily communicant, doing novenas, nuns? What kind of Catholic are we Very talking Very Catholic, I would say, um, he, yes, like so Catholic that when I played Barbie dolls, I would do have like Catholic scenarios. Like I would have confessionals for the Barbies. <laughs> And one Christmas, I got a Stretch Armstrong doll, and I was like, oh, he'll make a perfect priest. He's so big and sexy. And so I would <laughs> I'd make the Barbies be Father like, Armstrong. Father, forgive Father Armstrong. Forgive me, for I have sinned. And they would, um, so I had sexy Catholic scenarios. And then, and then, um, and then, <laughs> so silly. That's extremely Catholic. Yes, That's so extremely Catholic. Catholic. Very yeah. Catholic. Father, what a waste. Yes, yes. But then, and yeah, and my dad, was very Catholic. Like he went away on a retreat once. Like it was like a recovery Catholic retreat, and he came back. And when we would be ordering takeout at Manners, the local diner, he would go get our burgers for my sister Mary and I. And then he'd go, while you're waiting in the car, say Hail Marys. And we were like, Ugh, it's too Catholic. So just like that. <laughs> makes, Hail Mary makes a great appetizer, though. Yeah, yeah. It was so lovely to meet you. It was so Steven, lovely to have you. Hope we we'll see you. you again soon. Oh, well, I'm so happy for all your success. Oh, thank you and very it's much. a true honor for me to be on your television show. Oh, well, thank you for being yeah. here. <laughs> well, Divorce <laughs> Returns this Sunday on HBO. Mm -hmm. Molly Shannon, everybody. We'll be right back. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.